This coronavirus is bigger than anything we've ever seen before. And on the biggest picture of all, the coronavirus and the coming crash, financial collapse possibly, marks the end of the industrial age and the beginning of the information age. It's a very big move. And the people that are in trouble today are people still stuck in industrial age thoughts. The people that are struggling financially haven't moved on yet. Those of you at home right now who are sitting going, but I'm going to lose my job, my house, my pension and all this, it's because you're trapped with all thoughts. And as most people know, is that, you know, when I came up with Rich Dad Poor Dad about 20 something years ago, mainstream media crucified me. You know, they said, Rich Dad Poor Dad, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I said, the rich don't work for money. Savers are losers. Your house is not an asset. And I was crucified, just crucified. And the good news is the most important thing you can have right now is not job security, but meaningful work. So you and I don't need the money, but our work is meaningful. And it's our meaningful work that gets us through the hard times. So the good news is my company is sold out. We cannot keep up with product. The bad news is the supply chain shut down, but that's a good problem. We have tons of cash. I have gold, I have silver, and I do have challenges in the real estate market, but that's gonna make me stronger. That's my only attitude I can have. Otherwise, I just cry and say, well, the government should take care of me. I need a bailout, I need a stimulus. And stimulus means welfare for the rich. <laughs> when I talk to young people, which drives the school teachers, I don't go back to schools anymore because I'm not politically correct, you know what I mean? So I went back, you know, so when I would explain the fit to them, I said, well, just think of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. You know, there was the Tin Man, there was a Straw Man, and there was a lion with no heart. And so they thought they could go see the wizard and the wizard would give them what they asked for. So they'd prance along the yellow brick road and they pull back the curtain and it's a midget back there, this big illusion. And that's Ben Bernanke, Janet Yellen, and this guy Powell. And before that was that other character, I forget his name already. But they, everybody thinks they're wizards, but they're controlled by grunge, gross universal cash base. Our wealth is stolen via the money we work for. We need financial education because the real problem of this crisis started back in 1904 when the richest guys on earth took over the education system in the United States. They formed a thing called the General Education Board. It was formed by guys like Rockefeller and J.P. Morgan. And what they pulled out of education was financial education. And that's why I wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad. It was a warning shot across the bow back in 1997, I said, wake up, something's coming down the road. Right. So we're here right now, this is the biggest transformation in history of the world, it's from industrial age to information age. I'm doing well because I made the transition. I'm making more money than ever before. I have problems, but I'm making money, more money than ever before. But if you have it, if you're losing money right now, the problem starts in what you were taught in school because they never taught you anything about money. They never taught you about a financial statement like my rich dad did. They teach you that diploma is everything. It's a piece of toilet paper, BS. And you buy into that mechanism of money and you believe that that is the only thing to focus on. And what you're saying right now with these stimulus packages is all of this money being given, quote unquote, away by the government to everybody is actually devaluing your dollar, it's devaluing your pension, it's devaluing your savings, and it's wiping out businesses. So you're dying by this sword. This is how what Fuller talked about, the prison is inside our head, Buckminster Fuller. It starts with misinformation and misorientation. Misinformation, misorientation. And he says, how dare our schools punish kids for making mistakes? How else do you learn if you don't make a mistake and learn from your mistake? He says, God designed us. I'm not really religious, I'm not preaching here, okay? God designed us to learn by making mistakes, for instance, a baby learns to walk by falling down. Baby learns, you know, to ride a bicycle by falling off the bicycle. You know, Tiger Woods, the greatest golfer on ever in the history of the world, because he made more mistakes than you and I did. But our schools punish you for making mistakes. 2008, it was, you know, those credit default swaps. It was for residential real estate. So they bailed them out. This next crash is for the hedge funds and private equity that invested in all this commercial real estate. So I have another $100 million project coming out. I just got bailed out. I just got backed up by the Fed and the government. 
So that's why it's socialism for the rich. Unfortunately, there's capitalism for the poor middle class, those that work for money. You're on your own. Right. Right. You know, if uh, you own a small restaurant and you got to let go of your staff, you're no different than your staff right now. The national debt for World War II was $25 billion. Every day today, they're printing $125 billion. Every single day. That's like five World War IIs per day. They're printing so much money to keep this, this think of a hot air balloon with a tear in it. And they're doing desperately trying to fix this tear. No matter how hard they try, the tear has gone beyond, it's coming down. So in financial terms, it's called our debt to deep GDP has now gone from 60 to 90 to 105, it's going to 120. We're bankrupt. And they're going to print more and more money, which means savers are losers, just as I predicted. Your money is going to be worthless in a few years.